to <clears throat> build a a Murphy door uh, of, that's got bookshelves and all that kind of stuff, and then basically it's going to hide this doorway right here. This let me get the orbit tool. Uh, this is a this is a room uh, upstairs, and the there's a roof. This is the roof right here coming down like this. And uh, this is the attic space that's behind this door. This door is a room uh, that uh, is in between the master bedroom and the closet. So it's a, a kind of a small room, but it's going to be a nice reading room. And we want to uh, uh, hide this, this ugly opening here with a set of bookcases. And Bethany wants to put some bookcases uh, on this wall. So... Uh, let me show you what the bookcases will look like. Um, let me uh, see. I, th I, yeah, I think I can do this. Yeah. So this is this is the look of it, looking in front, and we're looking into the room like this. So I'm going to unhide all of the uh, uh, bookcases. So now there are the bookcases. So these bookcases will look like this, and this is a door right here. So that this bookcase on the left is fixed. This bookcase on the right is going to be fixed, and uh, of course there'll be mo there'll be shelves with pins that you can set the shelves whatever height you want. And this is going to be the middle bookcase, which is actually a door. And uh, uh, so there's multiple parts to this thing. Uh, I'm going to start removing uh, certain parts. I'm going to hide this thing right here, so we'll hide it. Uh, so the so now we just see the bookcase. This is the top part of the bookcase, and I'm going to use my orbit tool to kind of scan around so you can see these different parts. This is this is the wall itself. I'm going to hide the wall, so uh, let me select and uh, hide the wall. So now all we see is the shelves and the movable door. Uh, looking from the back, uh, you get a different view of this thing. You can see that the bookcase is narrower there's a little bit of gap at the top right here we zoom in you can see that little gap that's so it can it can move out same thing at the bottom um, there's a gap in the floor so it'll cover uncover the floor so if I move this up you can see that there's this little gap along there so um, and then uh, looking through here there needs to be space for the uh, the book the bookcase is 12 inches deep so it's got to have room to, to pivot on the hedges and this is a header that's uh, goes across all three uh, shelves uh, so this bookcase in the middle is, is movable but it looks like it's part of the rest of the bookcases so let me now get to the uh, front view so um, you can see down here there's a little bit of space at the bottom where the uh, the bookcase uh, doesn't go all the way down. I may make it so that both of these boards are the same height as this and then just put some sort of uh, behind there a little bit, uh, something to uh, 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 like a sweeper, a little uh, sweeper or whatever that will uh, touch the floor to keep bugs or whatever from coming out of or into there. And same thing with these two sides right here. So. Um, just to make it look look good so uh, this top part uh, I'm going to remove so I'm going to uh, I didn't mean to do that. undo edit undo erase uh, I want to hide it so I'm hiding the top now so if we look at it from the top uh, you can see the bookcase right here it's got a rounded corner over here it needed to be rounded in order to be able to pass by here because this point and this point are the uh, pivot points uh, for turning the bookcase and you can see that that this right fixed bookcase has got a mullion in the middle right here that uh, covers the sides of the bookcases and uh, of course there's, there's rails and styles all the way around this front of, uh, of the bookcase and but you can see this angle cut right here so uh, this is a square piece of wood uh, but I'll, I'll show you once I open the door uh, how that actually works and uh, 
uh, it's going to be the same thing down at the bottom. There's going to be a cutout for it. This piece right here is actually fastened to the door, uh, the, the movable bookcase. And uh, it's going to have an angled cut right here as well. So uh, let me move this over. So, um, well, what I'm going to do is uh, r rotate this thing. So if I take the rotate tool and I kind of zoom in on this little, and I set the point right here, all I got to do is pick a point to rotate from. That point goes through all the way down to the bottom, and so I'll show you the hardware eventually uh, on what's doing this. So this is the door uh, moving. So I've moved it uh, by 15 degrees to begin with. So uh, I want to zoom in and uh, uh, show you what this is going to look like. So um, if I pan around here a little bit, you can see how these angles right here uh, start turning around this way so they miss this part but this one little piece right here has to be uh, has, let me turn this around so you can see it uh, this one little piece has to be kind of cut out uh, well, I, let me uh, if I if I hide this bookcase uh, right here um, You can see there's a little cut out on this piece of wood to, to receive that flat right there because uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be able to close properly without that. Uh, and there's going to be the same thing uh, at the bottom right here. So there's a, a piece cut out at the bottom right here or where it's beveled right there. And then if we turn the whole thing around, you'll see the bevel on this, this other side right here. So there's the bevel there for that one. Uh, now I'm going to uh, unhide the last uh, so there's the bookcase turned at 15 degrees and if we look at it from the top uh, let me go to the top view here so there's the top view so that's where it, so uh, you can see that uh, there's a it, it looks like it's touching right here but it's not I'll show you the gap that it's got so um, I'm in the orbit mode. All right, so now uh, we're looking straight down. If I zoom in on this thing, you can see, and I need to uh, shift over a little bit. You can see there's a gap between this rounded piece and this. So this is as close as it gets to, the, uh, uh, to this bookcase over here. So it'll miss that just barely and uh, uh, because we need to be able to keep that tight. Uh, but now it'll also open 90 degrees. So uh, if I get the front view and uh, zoom out here, front view, zoom to the extent. Sorry, so now it's opened up a little bit. I can go ahead and rotate this thing some more. Uh, there's the, the rotate right there. So I'm going to do the rotate button on this and. Uh, Rotate it out to 90 degrees, and I'm going to just type in the 90 right here. So now it's at 90 degrees. Actually, I was at 15, so I needed to go less than 90. So let me go minus 15. Uh, rotate. Right, there it is. All right, so now it's it it's it says 15, but it's actually at 90 degrees because I had 15 to begin with, and I added 90, 90 to it, and I need to subtract 15 again from it, so to get it actually at 90 degrees. So let me zoom out uh, to the extent. So now you see the op the opening that's in the in the door right there, and uh, you know if we, if we rotate this thing around, uh, you'll see that this bookcase has clearing for about the mullions all the way down uh, zooming in here you can see that it doesn't touch that now because it's rotated away from it uh, and so forth so uh, of course these two cabinets on each side are fixed and uh, so now I'm going to uh, uh, edit undo rotate edit undo rotate edit undo rotate so now uh, the bookcase is back 
uh, where I want it. So let me go to the front view. And uh, uh, so I'm going to uh, hide this uh, door uh, right here. Actually, I'm going to unhide everything. So, so now everything's back, but all I'm going to do is remove the... Uh, uh, the bookcase. So there's the door that's that's already there, and uh, you'll be walking in into there through that. Now this is the ceiling, come, you know, right above there. So when when you uh, uh, come down, you'll see the the top of the bookcase right here. Now I can decorate this a little bit more with some molding or whatever. I'll put some beaded beads on these mullions that come down uh, just to, to decorate a little bit. But uh, I needed to design to make sure it was going to fit and work and everything. So uh, I'm going to build all the parts for it uh, here at my house. And then I'll, I'll assemble the two left and right bookcases. And uh, I'll probably assemble this top piece. Uh, well, I really won't. I probably... We'll cut the pieces and then maybe assemble them after I get there. Uh, but I'm going to put them together with dominoes. The, the bookcase carcasses are going to be real good plywood. Uh, this uh, top piece uh, right here are going to be real good plywood. Everything front facing, the mullions and the, the rails and styles uh, on those things are all going to be MDF. So that'll be easily paintable. So. Uh, but I wanted the plywood to be on there, and particularly uh, on the back uh, of this bookcase. So I'm going to unhide the bookcase, and uh, and then we'll uh, hide this thing. And then I want to uh, take the back view. That's a side view. That's another side view. There's the back view. So there, there's going to be French cleats all along here, and uh, you'll be able to. Uh, put storage you know this thick uh, with boxes sticking out as far as you want as long as they clear this corner right here turning uh, turning the door uh, you probably can't put any boxes right down this edge right here but you can put a whole bunch of stuff right here and put you know st storage for small things or even some you know larger things or whatever all right here and uh, it'll be you can screw it to the plywood it, it's hard to screw things and get them to fix to um, MDF, so this will be a, a piece of plywood. Uh, but this is the existing wall, and then this is the bookcase all in front of it right there. Uh, so that's that, and uh, I will talk to you later.